pretty excited today to make another recipe of nougat with jandouja. So the jandouja is caramelized thousand nuts turned into a paste in which you add tempered chocolate. Widely used in confectionery. Well, the jandouja was actually invented in Turin, in Italy, during uh, Napoleon's regency in 18th century. Quite amazing. So what do you want to do first? You want to cook your sugar at 118 degrees Celsius, 245 Fahrenheit. So sugar, water, and I am going to cover it just for the five first minutes. So it's ready, 118 Celsius, 245 Fahrenheit. I'm going to add my nuts, medium high, and you want to stir it constantly. So what's going to happen next? It is going to crystallize. So remember, we, we've made these before using the caramelized method, meaning you caramelize the sugar first and then you toss your nuts in it. So what you are looking for here is to get each of the nuts coated with sugar. That's the purpose, old fashioned. The one that you actually find in County Fair. The ideal situation here is to cook your nuts in a copper bowl. Why? Because copper conduct heat very well. So next you want to turn your caramelized nuts into a paste and that's going to become the famous praline. So it's important to have your food processor running by the time you drop your caramelized nuts. The longer you process your praline, the thinner it is going to be. Look at that! So now it's perfect. We are going to celebrate Christmas together with amazing treats and I guarantee you you are watching the right cooking channel, guys. So we need to add tempered chocolate. So you can add dark chocolate or milk chocolate. So I am going to rewarm my chocolate. And it's not gonna take that long. 29, perfect. I remember when I was 29, a couple of years ago. And I'm going to mix my room temperature praline in my chocolate. So now, at this juncture, it becomes Jean Duja. Nothing to do with Jean Dujardin, the guy who won the Oscar a couple of years ago in Hollywood. You know the French actor? So I am going to set this aside and start my nougat. So as we did for the previous nougat recipes, we're gonna follow the same principle. First, you wanna start cooking your sugar. And as soon as it reaches 120 Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna start cooking the honey on full blast. And by the time both sugars are cooking, you want to have your egg whites running on medium low. You want the temperature of the honey to reach 130 degrees Celsius to 66 Fahrenheit. And then right after your sugar cooked at 145 Celsius to 93 Fahrenheit. And you want to continue beating on a medium speed for a few minutes more. Then swap the whisk for the paddle attachment. At this stage though, the meringue remains hot. Use oiled utensils, add the warm jandouja and put it back on to combine. To know more about this fantastic chocolate nougat recipe, well, go to brunoskitchen.net. Throw in the warm nuts and mix for a few seconds. Transfer immediately the still hot nougat onto a baking tray lined with a wafer paper sheet glossy side down. The wafer paper though, papier azim, can be substituted for part of powder sugar and part of corn or potato starch. It's recommended though to use wafer paper because it holds nougat's shape. Cool completely before cutting out. I hope folks, you have enjoyed this chocolate nougat episode. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Ciao, ciao. Look at that. Smells like heaven, and I bet it tastes like heaven too. It's unbelievable.